Hi there, this is Jen and thanks for joining me today. Today I'm participating in a hop and the theme of this hop is Whimsy Slimline Dyes and this was organized through a Facebook group called Crafty Collabs and the organizer and um, creator of this group is Miranda Mathis. And so for my project, I'm going to be creating a slimline using the bunting border set from Whimsy Stamps and also a few of the Whimsy Red Rubber Stamps. Um, to start off, I just took a piece of eight and a half by 11 um, cardstock and I was able to create my card base and my card panel out of that. Um, the size of the card base is eight and a half by three and a half and then I just cut down the panel to be a little bit smaller than that. And in the um, Bunting Borders a Slimline set, you get these three different um, metal dies and they run the length of a Slimline card. Um, the stamp set I'm using, the main stamp set, is a Whimsy stamp set it's called Bart Loves Christmas. And I've already gone ahead and colored that up just to save a little bit of time. And that was colored with some brush markers um, using water as well as um, some colored pencils and I'm going to go ahead and stamp out the sentiment and the sentiment is from another whimsy set this is called um, balancing elf and I'm just going to use the words Mary so there's a bigger Mary and then there's a smaller one and so I'm just going to go ahead and stamp that up in my versifying black ink and then I will add a sentiment from another stamp set to finish it off uh, once I, or before I complete the entire card. And next I'm gonna create my background for the bunting die. And so I am taking some Catherine Pooler inks and the colors I'm using, half of the panel is going to be this Limoncello mixed with some Tiki Torch. And then on the other side of the panel, I will be using the color Samba. So it's kind of a yellow and a red. Um, and I colored up, this panel is probably about four inches wide. I wasn't exactly sure how I was going to use the bunting dies on my card. And so I um, just went ahead and did a fairly big panel to make sure I could get several of the die cuts out of one panel without having to make an additional panel. And once my ink is on the panel, I went ahead and spritzed it with my water bottle. And then I'm taking a paper towel to go over the top to pick up the ink, which will leave these really pretty little water splotches. Um, I'm also going to splatter this with some of the Starry Nights watercolors. And so I'm just taking my brush and I'm using one of the lightest gold colors and I'm going to splatter the panel with that. Um, I do also splatter the panel with some white acrylic paint. And then for the card panel where I have stamped up that Mary Mary stamp, I am going to um, ink blend a little bit of the Lime Ricky on the bottom portion. And then on the top portion of that panel, I will be using the color Samba. And the paper I'm using on the entire card for my ink blending is actually uh, Joann's and it's the 110 pound cardstock. I don't usually use this for ink blending, but I thought I'd give it a try and I think it works really well. And once I'm finished with the ink blending, I'm going to add some splatter once again, the same as I did with the other panel that I colored. And so I'm using that same light gold color and I will also add some of the white acrylic paint to this panel as well. And then next I'm going to take the bunting border die and run that through my die cut machine. I ended up uh, running it through my die cut machine three times, so I use up that entire panel. So you have the darker yellow and the light and the darker red, and then in the middle, it's a little bit of a combination of the two. I decided I wanted to use the full um, bunting border piece. Um, originally, I was gonna kind of crisscross the border across the card and cut them, so I did actually cut them and then decided that I wanted to use the border differently. And so I will be using the entire border. And here I am masking off a stamp. I am using a stamp for my stash and it is a full stamp that says, have yourself a merry little Christmas or something like that. And I only wanted the have yourself a and then I'm going to use the part that says Christmas as well. So um, I just took some sticky notes and masked off all of the areas that I didn't want to stamp. And I will do the same for the Christmas 
um, word. And so I'm going to uh, fit that Christmas word between the Mary Mary. And I will again mask that portion off of the top and then just ink up that word Christmas. And before I forget, I wanted to mention the details of the giveaway. The giveaway is being generously provided by Whimsy Stamps and it is a $20 gift certificate to their store. And they're actually giving away three $20 gift certificates, so you have a few chances to win. Um, to be eligible, all you need to do is leave a comment. So the more comments that you leave on the participants in this hop, the more chances you have to win. And it, the giveaway is open to US residents as well as international, so pretty much everybody um, can enter. And uh, I will also put details below in the description. And so once I have um, adhered my bunting border on that left hand side, I'm going to go ahead and take some liquid adhesive and adhere my panel to my card base. And I've set some acrylic blocks on my card to let it dry. And while that's drying, I went ahead and added some thin foam to the back of Bart. And so I'm just going to take my tape runner and add some adhesive and adhere that to my panel. Um, I also take some of the stars from those other pieces that I didn't end up using and cut them off of the little um, kind of string that they're on and applied some of them throughout the card. Um, and that finished this one off. I really love this little dragon. Um, I love this die set because you can use it both for slim lines and for the four and a quarter by five and a half card. So it's really great um, a value for your money. And so that is it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy the rest of the hop. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Um, as always, if you like this video or found it informative, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Um, thank you so much for taking some time out of your day to spend with me and I hope to see you soon.